Ah, good job. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight, I'm going to talk about tonight's SEC opener. You had the LSU Tigers beating the Mississippi State Bulldogs 31-16 to to improve the 1-0 in SEC play. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a file on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holla at your boy. Also, if you're a Madden player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Ooh, man, good job by the Tigers tonight, yo. I must say, um, we did a really good job, yo. We came in, we actually was was a under a two and a half point underdog in this game. So to get a fifteen point victory, um, I'm really pleased with with how we played tonight. Um, first half obviously didn't go great offensively, you know. Um, offensive line got pushed around a little bit. Um, but as the game went on, the offensive line settled in. Um, gave Jaden Daniels some nice pockets, and you know they they started being able to run the football, man. Um, I don't know the last time it, it definitely had. I can't remember in my lifetime when LSU has started two true freshmen on the ta at tack at both tackle positions. You got Emory Jones. Uh, the freshman from um, Catholic of Baton Rouge starting at right tackle. And you got Will Campbell, the true freshman from Neville, starting at left tackle. And look, I tell you what, yo, I think the future is bright with both those guys at the bookend tackles. Um, You know, barring any injuries or transferring or anything like that, you're looking at, your, you're looking at at least – um, two, three year starters at the tackle at the bookend tackle positions. And I'm excited as an LSU fan, I'm excited about that, yo. Um, because I feel like they're gonna get better and better every week that goes on. Um, as you can see, they got they got better as the game went on tonight. Um just a really good job by the O line as the game went on. Um, you know, giving Daniels time to throw and, and, and open up a little bit of running lanes. Uh Jaden Daniels, yo, um Played great in the second half. Um, got the ball out quick. Maybe there was more design plays to get the ball out to where he ain't had to go through as many reads. Um, he looks like he plays better when things are a little more chaotic. <laughs> like as far as um, whenever he don't have as much time to process and think, it looks like he's better that way when he's actually back there trying to process things. Because um, the first half, yo, the thing with him is he didn't see the field really well. Um, it was times where he took off running or he threw the receiver when he should have thrown another one. And, um, you know, it didn't really look great. It wasn't great out there for him in that first half as the offense looked bad. Had a bad fumble after we got great field position off of a, a turnover on downs. And um, things just didn't look great for him. But at the end of the first half, like I said, we was in hurry up mode. And uh, the, uh, he went down there and, and got a touchdown, yo. Threw a touchdown to Jerry Jenkins and in the second half. Made some nice throws, um, you know, particularly to Malik Nables. And look, I, I was glad for Malik tonight, yo. Um, Malik obviously had a big, big disappointing first game um, against Florida State with the two muff punch. Um, but for him to get out there tonight, and he was the guy, yo, on that drive for us to take the lead, uh, we kept going to him with the game on the line, and he kept responding, especially on that fourth down call where we threw him a 50-50 ball, and he responded great by going up and making a good contested catch um, to keep the drive alive that ended up resulting into um, the go-ahead touchdown. So I was really happy to see Malik get out there. Kayshawn caught a couple of balls. Still want to see him get a little more involved in the offense. Jare Jenkins gets the um gets a touchdown catch. And look, Jare is just just solid. Yo. Um, he's not the 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 most highly touted receiver we have on this roster, but he's just somebody who I feel like um is it, just money. Whenever the other uh, the money is on the table, he responds each and every time. Um, so good performance by those guys. Running backs, man, it was good to see John Emery Jr. get back out there tonight, though he wasn't really necessarily very effective tonight running the football. But I feel like as he gets more and more into the swing of things, 
Um, he's going to start getting his conditioning back and getting out there and making explosive plays. But shout out to Josh Williams, man. Um, gets a, a nice touchdown run and, a, and Armani Goodwin with a very, very nice ceiling touchdown run where he showed a little explosiveness as he bust through the hole and got into the end zone um, to get it to, to basically put the game away. Um, and then on the defensive side of the ball, man, what can I say about B.J. Orgelario? <laughs> like, he was in Mississippi State's backfield all night long, got sacks, um, just made plays, Savion James um, also was a big a big part of this game. The linebacker core, Bakersfield, true freshman Harold Perkins, Mike Jones, they played great, and the secondary played really well, yo, especially going up against this type of offensive scheme where the ball is being thrown around all over the yard. Um, just a really overall, Matt House did a good job tonight um, designing different type of blitz packages. Just overall, a really good performance by the defense against a very good offense with a very good experienced quarterback. And uh, special teams, man, made our field goals. We actually had the muff punt go our way this time. Um, still got to get a little better on kick coverage, but mostly I felt like we, we played, you know, pretty okay. Um, look, good to, good to get the first SEC win. This is a solid Mississippi State team. Is it the best team in the SEC? No, but I feel like it's a solid team and it's a nice win for us to get tonight, a win we should be happy about. Um, as far as Mississippi State, man, um, Mike Leach is crazy, but he's a very good coach. Went for a lot of fourth downs in his own territory early that he didn't really backfire against him. But overall, we kept grinding, we kept pushing, and we got a really nice home opening SEC win. Um, get New Mexico State next week a game. Obviously, we should win and get a little more healthy before the big um, showdown on the road against an Auburn team that's struggling right now. Um, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have LSU, NCAA, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.